hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the breadth first search so first of all we'll see all the properties all the features of the breadth first search and then we'll use this in our java language so we'll do some coding so first of all let's see all the properties what is the breadth first search so in breadth first search as it name suggests that first we search the neighbors of an element first we see all the neighbors and then we go in the deep level right so for example if this is a case this is a e a so what are the neighbors of a the neighbors are b and d right so first we first we print b and d and then we go ahead and then we print c e and f right so that so that is breadth first search so breadth first search you can say it's an algorithm it's a type which can be used for a graph or which can be used for tree right so for example this is a graph so we have uh, these vertices so we call them as a vertex so this a b c d e so they all are the vertex so vertex has the uh, two properties first of all we say that uh, with what's a label so for example a so a is a label of them and then second property we have that whether they have visited or not right so we have like watch visited so this is the second property and now this these are the edges we can say so any two vertices if they are the if they are the match through an edge so we call them so that is like one value if they are not matching so for example if here a and b are connected so we can say that a and b is there is a is and the value is 1 but like a and c are not connected so it means they are not connected and there is no is so we can say that is is basically zero right so this is the uh, property of the graph that we have the vertex and we have the edges so in breadth first search we first search the neighbors and then we go ahead but when we will uh, see in the next tutorial about the depth first search so in a depth first search first we go through it the depth of a particular element so for example when we start from a then we go from b then we cover c as well then we cover d then e and f right so that will would be the depth first search so that would cover in the next tutorial but here we are covering the breadth first search right so now uh let's see that how we'll implement the breadth first search or the bfs algorithm so uh as you have seen that first we need to cover the all the neighbors right so what we will do we will take a queue right and in the queue so basically we have given a starting point so like here in this case you can say our starting point is a in graph it could be any point it could be b it could be d or it could be c or any point right so we are starting from a and we have this undirected graph right so what we'll do we'll first uh, put this a in the queue so here we have queue and we'll mark a is the is the visited because we have visited a and then we'll print the a right so now we'll check that what all element what what all edges goes through a right so first there is a edge between a and b then we have a and d so what i will do i will remove a and i will put all the neighbors of a in the queue right so like here you can see i have added b and d so uh, so when i was adding the vertices so in the same order i will add the element in the queue so like i added b as a first so i am adding b here and then i am adding d right now i will check for the b because i have covered both the neighbors of a now i will remove the b and i will check that what all elements b is covering so now you can see that b has covered to a as well but because a is already visited so we so we will not put in the queue similarly case is the for the uh, d because d we have already visited right you can see d is already visited so we want cover but c is not visited so we'll print the c and as well as we'll print the we'll print the property of the c as visited so now you can see b is removed and now exist we have d and c right so we have added c in the queue now we have the d same is the case for d 
that we have covered already a and b a and b are already visited so we will not add into q but e is not visited right so what we will do we will remove the d and we will put the e so now you can see e is here and we have c so now c is on the front on the q so now c will uh, so we'll check for the c but for the c as well we have already covered a and b so we won't add anything and c will be removed right and then we'll check for e so now for the e d is already covered so now we'll add the f because f is not covered not visited so now we have the f and at the last we'll remove the f and we'll check that if there is any neighbor so for f we don't have any neighbor right so by this way we'll print all the element by using bfs algorithm or breadth first search right so this is my logic this is i have the vertex as is right so now let me show you that how i will implement this using java so now uh, let me show you the code so this is i have the code so uh, i have the bfsf class bsff so where i'm implementing the breadth first search algorithm and here i, I have the graph so in graph property uh, what i have let me show you so i have the class graph and in the class graph i am saying that my maximum vertices can be 20 right and i will store all these vertices into vertex list so i have the vertex list and where i have the property of vertex so now let me show you what is vertex so vertex as i explained to you vertex is a class so i am taking class vertex and vertex class has two property one is the label and one is the boolean was visited right so was visited is very important because as we have seen that we always keep track of was visited and using the was visited we cover okay we have already covered or not right so for every vertex we have the two property one is label and one is was visited so whenever i will add a new vertex it will add the label as the i will send from the above and then was visited at the starting i will keep it as false right now so as i was telling you about the graph so in graph we have the vertex list where i will keep track of the all the vertices and here i will use the adjoint matrix so adjoint matrix means it says that let's say you have the uh, you have a age between a and b right so what i will do now each of these vertices have a index right so index for example this a so a is index is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 4 and 5 right so each vert each vertices have the index like the uh, when we are adding into them into vertex list right so now uh, these edges are the adjoint matrix so what we'll do to keep track of whether they have an age or not i will say a i j so a i j basically is a two element so i will put a i j and a j i both as one right so if there is a is the both adjoint matrix are one if they are not then the value is zero so that is why we have this adjoint matrix right and n vertices i will keep track of that how many vertices i have and i will use a q so that is why i will have the q here right so whenever i will inslice the graph variable i will store the default values so first of all the vertex list i will uh, vertex list is basically the vertex array so i will initialize with the maximum vertices which is 20 in this case and then i will also initialize the adjoint matrix to uh, all zero values and at the starting n vertex is zero and i will initialize the q as a link list right so here i am using the inbuilt function of q you can also make your own q implementation and i am telling that i will store all the integer value so now uh, this was about the graph so now what i am doing i am adding the vertex into graph right so here you can see that uh, i am calling the add vertex and here basically i am giving you the lab so basically it's a label so now you can see that i am adding the vertex list and vertex and new vertex lab so basically this goes into a so it adds the label a and it says was visited false right so I have added the first vertex into vertex list right and as well as i am increasing the n vertex also so now 
I will add all the vertex into the I will add all these six vertices into my list right so once I have added the vertex now I will add the edges so now let me show you the edge so basically here what I am doing that I am telling the adjoint matrix start and end and both end and start would be one why it is because this is undirected graph so you can see this is undirected graph there is no direction but let's say if it had been the directed graph then then we would have only calculated the this only one case the start and end right so this is a uh, this is a property of the graph that we are adding both the start and end and end and start as one right so through this way i will add the add vertex and through this way i will add the add edges right so now i have created the graph now i will start the visiting so now let me show you by using debugging so that you will understand better so here oh, oh let me put from here so that you can understand better so first it will go here and it will go in the graph it will initialize with all the default values of the graph so for example vertex list then adjoint matrix then n vertex and then q all right now i will add the add vertex so here it will go and it will add so now i will show you about the vertex so now you can see what is label so label is a right so it will add both label and was visited false for the vertex a and as well as it will add into vertex list so here you can see like for example all vertex list is null because they are default value but now when you after adding so it has added the first vertex right and what is the value value is label a and was visited false right so this is how i will add the other vertex as well now i will go into add edges so here it will go and so what is the adjoint matrix starting all values are zero you can see but now when i will do start end and end start is one so it means the first the what is start and end is one it means the a and b have an edges right similarly you can say so this was for a and b this was for the b and c this was for the a and d so basically we are creating the graph right so similarly we will add all the edges and print and here i will and here is my main implementation bfs right so here i will print all the uh, all the values in the bradford search manner so at the starting because uh, i am starting with the a so i am telling okay now make it as a visited graph so i am telling that make the index 0 which is a is the true and display vertex so first of all it will make the property of it true and it will say display vertex so what is display vertex it's simply printing the label of the vertex right so this is my index which is the zero index and it will print the a so here you can see so i have started from the a now i am adding this into the queue as well because i will do all these things in the queue now i'm checking that until queue is not empty and first remove the item so as i explained to you it will first remove the item which is in our case is zero right which is the first value which is a now i'm calling a function get adjacent unvisited vertex so basically what it will do that we have this a so now it will check that what all neighbors it has that are not visited if it is a value then return me the value so here you can see that here i am passing the index and here it will check for the all the vertexes so here it will check for the n vertices uh, like what is that if there is a adjacent matrix is one or not so one means that if there is any edges or not and if it is a edges so the vertex which you are checking the neighbor which you are checking is visited or not so if it is a false it means return j means it is not visited so we can use right so like in this case what would happen for the zero it won't be a case but for the one it will return yes because b is not visited and b is as is always so now it will return b so the what we will do for the v which is the first index will say okay watch visited true will display the vertex so here you can see it has visited it has printed b and it has added in the queue as well right 
again it will go and it will check here so it first it will check for this again for the 0 then 1 because now you can see that it didn't print for the 1 because now b is printed v is visited right now it will go for c and now it will go for d so for d was visited is false so it will again return uh, d which is the third index so now again we will do for for the d was visited true and display vertex d right and as well as in the queue we will add the d now same thing it will do again but here all now all are visited so it won't go in any and at the last it will return minus one so when whenever it will return minus one it means we are completed we are done for an index right so now it will retrieve now it will uh, ret remove the element b which is one so now you can see our index is one so now it will do all the calculations for b so now it will do all the calculations for b here so first it will check for a then it will check for c and that will check for d so you can see that here it will add so a it want to go now it will go for c and it will print the c right so similarly uh, it will do for other operations it will keep on printing like you can say now it has printed for e and at the last it will print for f right so this is a way at the last we have printed all the elements right so that's it guys and what's the complexity so the complexity is basically the vertexes plus edges right so you as you have seen that we have covered all the vertex and we have covered all the edges right so the complexity is big of o big of vertex v plus edges plus e so basically all the edges and all the vertex right so in the worst case we need to cover the all the edges to all the elements and and the vertex are basically the vertex right so that's it guys uh, we have seen that how we can implement the bfs algorithm or breadth for such algorithm to an graph where we basically first cover all the neighbors and then we'll go in the deep levels so for this video that's it and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you